today's episode of The Young and the Restless. Let's start with Adam and Victor. So, Adam was just sitting there, chilling, minding it, um, doing his job, sorting through Nate's emails, and then Victor came up to him. Adam was making small talk, saying, saying how he's I'm talking about his work and everything like that. And then Victor just absolutely ripped ripped into him. He said, quit, pl quit playing games with me. You think I don't know what you're doing? You know how many times I've defended you against your, si your actions, against your siblings and my wife? Um, I'm sick of it. I'm done with it. Y'all never change. You never done. I'm done defending you. You're fired. I'm your boss. You, your, your work here is done. I don't give a damn. And Adam's just like, wow. But that was just all a part of Victor's head games that he's playing. Because then what happened from there, Nate walked in. Nate was like, like, hey, Victor, your son is actually doing a good job right now. He's like, Victor's like, oh, okay, that's good to hear. And then um, Nate went over there to go get Adam. And then Nate noticed something was wrong with Adam. And um, Adam's like, I'll talk, talk to you about it later. And then... Victor just, and they got up and walked off, and then it was like, oh, okay, see see you both in the office later, Victor said, and then he was just cool, because, like I said, Victor, he knows what he's doing. I'm honestly not mad at what Victor's doing. I would have done that, too. I mean, I, I don't, actually, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put my kids through that, but. It's smart, though, because look at what Victoria is trying to do. She is trying to undermine him. Um, his his stretched out old ex-stripper wife thinks that her children are angels, but Victor don't have those same blinders. He knows all, all of them are what could easily betray him. I think he's really on to Victoria. That's what this is really about. Because if this was Adam, he knows Adam's the pariah. If this, if he truly wanted to do that to teach Adam a lesson, they would have all band together like they always do. Because you know that's what they love to do. Every time Adam messes up, um, and Nikki and them, they would have no problem throwing Adam under the bus if it was truly Adam he was after. He knows Adam is. I mean, he don't really trust Adam as much either, though. But I think he's really. He knows Victoria is the real problem this time around. I can't wait until he dethrones her. But he shouldn't have told that that wife of his any damn thing. Because there she went. Talk about, oh, well, you know, Ad Adam's the traitor. Adam will be, the, be will be the one that betrays you, like always. I'm like, please. Um, but Nikki and Victoria and Nick had a meeting. He was catching them up how he said about when, um, he slipped up on saying the baby, thinking Adam and Sally were still having the baby and stuff like that. They were talking about the day. Nikki justified the talk about, oh, well, at his age, it could just be natural memory loss. Like, Nikki, you're old too, though. So stop with that. Like, we all know Victor has been old. He's been old the last 20 years, so. Please. It's not really a surprise. That if he was to do that, but Victor knows exactly what he's doing. I'm tired of her acting like, oh, no, it's just his age. And, like, Nikki don't have any an ex stripper with MS. I'll throw a certain like, miss me with that. And then that that old hag had the nerve to cuss out Adam again. Because Adam saw her. She had that stupid stink look on her face. And she was like, you don't care about Victor. All you care, all you care about is... 
is what he could do for you. Well, Nikki, without Victor, you would still be on a stripper pole. So, please, at least Adam made his own has his own education and has his own background. He could he survived before Victor, and he would survive without Victor. But you and your entitled brats wasn't nothing without Victor at all. Adam accomplished his education and his work background on his own, so he don't need Victor like that. He just wants Victor's approval. That's a difference between them. Victoria would be absolutely nothing without Victor. So that's just that's just a fact. She wouldn't be no in no CEO position or co CEO nothing because she's not qualified. all about who you know but seriously they need to give my boy adam a win now i'm tired of that i loved it when victor told both nick and victoria to get the hell out of his office and nick admitted to victoria that he broke up with sally but he didn't want to get into it because they were just trying to talk with victor but that um he just threw them out of his office pretty much so that's what that um, but moving, but moving on from that, we had Lily and Daniel. They had some nice scenes. He's moved. They finally given Daniel an apartment set, so she's happy about it. They were flirting with each other throughout that episode. I was like, okay, I like the chemistry. I think they're cool. But their scenes didn't really go much of anywhere outside of that. Um, and then we had. The same thing, well, similar with Danny and Phyllis. They were talking for a while. And I'm like, cool. And she got rid of the last demon and whatever. She's trying to be a better person. Phyllis, you're incapable of being a better person. You're just you. Phyllis. Phyllis will never change. Never has, never will. No difference now. She just is who she is. I'm not even mad about it. Because Phyllis is who Phyllis is. But her, Lil, her, Danny, Danielle, and Phyllis, I mean, and Lily, are all going to meet up for drinks later. So, that is good so yeah that was pretty but that was pretty much it on today's episode let me know what you thought about today's episode in the comment section below and i will see you all later